what's up everybody it's the untouchable wolf and if you're new to my channel please make sure to subscribe for more remnant 2 how-to videos and live streams and i really do appreciate all of your support today i'm be showing you how to use the star shot a very effective and deadly handgun to use and so much fun you gotta be careful when you're using this weapon with your friends because you're gonna be shooting the galaxy with this mod so i'm gonna show you right now what i'm talking about when it comes to the star shot so hopefully everybody's doing good you want to make sure with this weapon um as, as well as any others um you want to make sure to get the archon class um leveled up because you have some really good perks when it comes to your mod so you see down there at the bottom increases my damage right there so really really good to have the archon class equi equipped when you're talking about using your mod uh powers your mod effectively all right so the star shot very very um nice weapon i'll show you some let me show you what's up man the dps all right you see it went to 1000 right there now the mod is something else guys i'm gonna activate it and if you're too close to it this is what's gonna happen to you right now that's what i'm talking about let's go the galaxy in your hands man i'm just saying you gotta be careful with this op weapon i'm just letting you know guys so let me show you the stats when it comes to this i just wanted to show you a little bit we're going to be showing i'm going to be showing you some gameplay with some enemies uh, very very shortly here so it's a very fun weapon to use you see that it has the big bang mod you see i have a mutator the slayer so um when it comes to the big bang it funnels all current mod charges into the next shot so you want to make sure it does have five charges so you want to make sure to use it effectively have save up the five charges and then use it all right so so get your mod power all the way back up and you see projectiles deal uh 315.9 direct damage and 384.1 explosive damage per charge consumed in a 6.75 meter uh, meter radius explosion applies 503.4 burning damage over 20 seconds uh, per charge consumed so additional charges consumed increase all damage by five percent max five charges my power right there 535.5 so when it comes to just the burning and the explosion when it comes to the mod i try to equip everything i can when it comes to the explosion as well as burning so you see right here my amulet i have the detonation trigger i have the blasting cap ring which increases explosive damage by 10 percent i have the shard of banner ring increases mod damage by 12 percent i have the timekeeper's jewel which will increase the duration of all status effect applied and then I have the firestone increases fire damage by 10 percent so definitely a really really op weapon you want to make sure to go get it all the way to a plus 10 in when you're playing co-op please make sure to be careful so some good just a good damage right there and this time we're gonna stay back when we apply the mod all right here we go get the mod active and your boy still died, man. That's the, hey, be careful when using this weapon, please. Be careful, man. All right, your boy has to stay. Like, man. All right, here we go. Like a doggone nuclear explosion. But yes, actually, when it says, when you go to the description, kind of says, like, up here. Um, Where is it? When it talks about the the shots is uh, okay literally tiny stars that you're fight that you're firing so got the galaxy in your hand right now just so so very powerful so if um, you had any questions about this weapon now how to get it you want to make sure to go to Narud and I'm actually going to go there to um, find some enemies and. Okay. No, this is where we went to um my live stream, so let me go back to campaign. Alright. I wanna go to Narud. Now you have to go to the Eon Vault or Timeless Horizon. Now I'm gonna be we're gonna show this weapon off against enemies. And you have to look for the structure that I'm showing you right now. Um, this kind of structure where it has a robot ship, and you actually have to go into the dungeon in this area at the bottom of the ship to activate 
the console so you got to get the get the battery and put the battery back in and then you'll go out and um you have to find five robot coffins and man um some people's have been glitched like where you only have to get two and then you go back to the robot um and at the very bottom you collect the weapons but i actually had to get all five coffins and actually did it in my live stream i was just really really happy so you want to look for the five coffins and you'll be good to go so let's showcase this weapon Really, really um, fun weapon to use, I and mean, when you're playing co-op, you definitely have to uh, be careful um, with the the mod. So, um, if, you have, if you have any questions on how to get this weapon, please let me know, and I'll help you. But it, it definitely takes time, so you have to be going to Eon Vault or the Times Horizon and look for that structure. Look on the sides, and you'll be good to go. Find the, find the coffins. Remember to go to the Dark Conduit, the dungeon, to activate the console. You have to get the battery. Okay, so this weapon it's something else. Definitely want to get it fully, fully upgraded. So much fun. Let me get a lot of them. Let me activate this mod. You definitely gotta be careful. Here we go. I was waiting for the signal. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna get a lot of them. I like to use Explorer. This right here, where I can run around faster. Let me get a lot of them together. Come on, boys. Catch me if you can. All right, here they come together. Catch me if you can. Hey, that was a really good movie. All right, here we go. Be trying to trick me, man. Don't be trying to trick me. All right, we're gonna use the mods. Trying to see. Are y'all gonna come up here, man? Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Alright, here we go. Uh, active. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my goodness, man. It's just amazing. <laughs> this is an amazing weapon, everybody. Please make sure to get this weapon and let me know your thoughts. Um, Man, such fun weapon to use. All right, so if you have any questions, any comments, let me know your thoughts about this weapon in the comment section down below. If you found this video helpful or entertaining, make sure to give me a like rating. I will reply back to your comments. I um, really do enjoy hearing from you. It's uh, just a really, really fun game. And if you are new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe for more Remnant 2 how-to videos and live streams. And once again, thank you so much for your support. We're on the road at 60K subscribers. So if you are new, welcome to the Wolf Pack. It's all about having fun and living life to the fullest. So thanks for watching and take care and more wolf videos be coming soon. Later. Peace. Let's go.